I'm Lisa here at Piano Video Lessons and welcome to lesson six of our note reading course. In this lesson, we're going to learn the neighbors and skips around bass and triple C. And by the end of the lesson, you're going to know all of these notes. We're gonna practice them using the Note Rush app as well as our workbook pages. Let's get started. In our last lesson, we learned to read bass C in the bass clef down three spaces, and we learned to read treble C in the third space up in the treble staff, up three spaces. And in previous lessons, we've been learning to read by referencing notes from our landmarks that are neighbors or skips away from these notes. We also talked about how notes move from space to line to space to line, making it easy for us to use these guides uh, as helpers to figure out other notes around them. So here, when we know this treble C, we know it's up in space three, and that means it's a space note, so the neighbors on either side are going to be line notes. So let me just show you that here on the staff. And you'll see here is treble C, and its neighbors, B and D, are line notes on either side of that third space. So the neighbor below C is B, the neighbor above C is D. All right, so we can mark those off here on our um, page. Let's just change colors, and we'll see that D and B are the neighbors a line above and a line below our space note C. Let's look at the left hand. We have middle, or we have base C here in the space, and then we can go a line above to D and a line below to B, making those two neighbors on the lines that surround base C. All right, and then the same thing happens when we want to go to the skips away from these notes. We'll pick up our C in a space, and we can read the space below C as an A, knowing it's a skip away. And we can read the space above C as E. Uh, we also know a couple of these notes as they reference the base F that we learned back in lesson three. Uh, lesson three? in lesson four. So we learned F's, neighbors, and skips, and here C's, neighbors, and skips include those two notes that we learned before. All right, looking over at the treble clef, we know that C is in a space, so skipping up a space, we're going to land on E, and then that's the top space of the treble staff, a skip up from C. And then we can also think about going down a skip from C that takes us to a space note that's now one space lower. That note is A, and there we have it on the staff. So if we have a look now at everything we've learned so far, you can see all of the notes that are labeled on this keyboard, and they're hard to fit in this little space here, but they include the notes from uh, the skip below C and the skip above C. That's all of these notes. And then we also know high C and low C. All right, let's do a little bit of uh, pencil work here in our workbook. And we'll also see um, as we turn to the next page here that there is wrong way. There is also some QR codes, one for the new notes in this exercise, just the neighbors and skips of treble and bass C, and one for all of the notes in treble bass C plus the first five lessons. So let's go ahead and load that with our Note Rush app. If you haven't got the app already, you can get it in the App Store and the Play Store. It's available both for Apple and Android, and it will scan this QR code and load the lesson automatically. So I'll go ahead and load that. All right, so here you can see the notes in the app, and it's exactly the ones that I just told you that it would be, all of these ones here and here. And now we'll just tap this yellow play button in the bottom of the app. It will take us over to the app. I'm going to turn this back. There are lots of different themes. The last one I was using was a space theme. Let's just put it on regular old notes. Uh, then to start the exercise, we're going to play this. We're going to press this yellow play button and it's going to ask us to play a note so that it can calibrate the drill. So A4. Now here we go. This is our, our guide note and this is a guide note. Here we have a skip, another space above treble C, 
And here we have a line above treble C. Here we have a space below treble C, so skip. And now down in the bass, oh, it's listening to my voice. It has a skip below middle C. And a skip above, I said middle C, I meant bass C. And now here we have a skip above bass C. Now we have a neighbor of bass C. And another neighbor of bass C. Hmm, up to treble. It's not as high as treble C, it's one note lower. Whew, 47 seconds. Let's try that one again with less talking. Ta da! 9.75 seconds and five stars! All right, let's head back over to our workbook where we can see how we can practice writing and naming all of these new notes. All right, so let's practice drawing base A and base B, and let's Think about them as they relate to base C, which is our guide note. So base C lives right here, down three spaces from the middle, and we have first A and then B. And so now we can just keep on drawing these A's and B's, always thinking about how they compare to that third space, base C. You might also be thinking about the notes D and E that we were just talking about in the drill. We've already learned how to read these notes in another way. We can compare those notes to bass F. E is the neighbor below and D is the skip below. So you can reference those notes either way now. You can reference them coming up from bass C or you can reference them going down from bass F. All right, so now let's also practice uh, the two new notes that we just learned in the treble staff. Again, we're thinking about how they relate to this note that we just learned, treble C. And we see that D is the neighbor above and E is a skip above. And then you might be wondering as well about the neighbor and the skip below the treble C, but again, if you remember treble G from lesson two, you can see that we have the neighbor and the skip up from treble G. So these notes can be referenced either from treble C or treble G. So here we have the neighbor and the skip down from our new treble C. I'm only asking you to think about these two new notes here, uh, D and E, because we have already practiced reading B and A. You can write them if you like. All right, on the next page, we're going to be practicing to uh, name the notes, and there is an answer key at the back of the workbook, but let's go ahead and do a few together. So here we're going down three spaces, so that is our landmark note, base C, and then we have the next note, a neighbor below. So this note is below C, it's B, then we have a skip below, so A. And then here, if you think about this C, you can think about a skip above, that one is E. It's also the neighbor below, base F. Over here now in the treble staff, we're going up three spaces. So that note is treble C. That's one of our new landmark notes that we learned in the last lesson. And then here we have a neighbor above it, which is going to be D. And our next note is very low. Let's think about our new landmark, base C, and a skip below that takes us to A. And then again, we can think about treble C, and this note is a skip above that takes us to E. All right, so many notes on this page, but they all focus around the neighbors and skips of bass and treble C. On the next page, we're going to be reviewing all of the notes that we worked on in this new lesson, plus some of the notes from previous lessons. So if you're having trouble on any of these, you might wanna go back over and review the section that they came from. All right, so let's do a few together. Up three spaces, we find our treble C. This is a skip above that, gives us E. Then we have, thinking of that same third space, this is a skip below, making this note A. And then here, we have a note that's very close to G. This one is a neighbor below, makes this one F. 
If we think about going down three spaces, we have this note that's a skip below, bass C, it's giving us an A. And here is one of our guide notes. This is low C. Uh, I like to put LC for low C, just so we're clear on which exact C it is. You can just put C if you prefer. Uh, then here we have a note very close to C. It's the neighbor above, so that makes it D. And then here we have the neighbor below C, so that makes this note B. And then here we have a note very close to C in the treble staff, neighbor above makes it D. All right, so you can go ahead and continue naming these notes, then check your answers at the back of the workbook, and then come on back and join me for lesson number seven, where we're going to start to fill in even more of the notes by looking at the neighbors and skips inside from those high and low C. Go practice your notes and I'll see you in the next lesson.